Right friends, welcome back to New Set at Glance for week number 40. This is from 28th September to 4th October and I would like to be too brief in this because the items requiring more explanation we are taking in other modules. The first one is Indian Broadcasting Foundation, the apex body of non-news broadcasters elected Star India CEO Uday Shankar as its president for the second term and please do not forget this Indian Broadcasting Foundation is the apex body for non-news broadcasters. The second one is Asia's largest movie festival that is Busan International Film Festival. This is the port city of South Korea and for the past 20 years International Film Festival is being organized at Busan in South Korea. And this is the 20th International Film Festival and here it started recently on 1st October and it was kicked off with the film Juban, right? Look into the next one. The Paris based International Chamber of Commerce or ICC. When I utter the word ICC, two more things comes to my mind. The first one is ICC means International Cricket Council. International Cricket Council was established somewhere in the early 1900s with uh, headquarters at uh, Dubai. And the second one is ICC means uh, International Criminal Court. International Criminal Court uh, is uh, basically to look into the war crimes and this is headquartered in The Hague in Netherlands. And please do not forget about these two organizations. The third organization which we are talking about is not heard by many people that is International Chamber of Commerce and its tribunal, the International Court of Arbitration. This ICC, International Chamber of Commerce is headquartered in Paris, France and its body international court of arbitration where the arbitrations and other disputes are settled in international court of arbitration and recently this ICC tribunal or you can say international court of arbitration ruled that Antrix, Antrix please do not forget that is the commercial arm of ISRO and Antrix must pay 672 million dollars to Devas Multimedia. Previously, a contract was awarded to Devas Multimedia in the year 2005 for development of two S-band satellites. For building of two S-band satellites, contract was awarded to Devas Multimedia and subsequently it was cancelled and now the Tribunal of International Chamber of Commerce ordered Antrix the commercial wing of ISRO to pay 672 million dollars to Devas Multimedia, right? So, ICC ruled in favor of Devas Multimedia. Look into the next one. First ever trilateral ministerial dialogue was held between India, USA and Japan. It is attended by India's external affairs minister Sushma Swaraj and this Trilateral ministerial dialogue is between three countries. It shows the growing friendship between United States of America, Japan and India. And this has assumed significance in view of the fact China's overtures in the region closer to Japan that is East China Sea and South China Sea. Please do not forget. Look into the next one, only 18 states or union territories implemented Food Security Act. In our country, total 36 states and union territories are there. Out of 36, only 18 implemented, 18 states yet to implement this National Food Security Act. And please do not forget, people will get subsidized food grains under National Food Security Act 2013. Several extensions were given. Probably the initial period given was just one year for implementation. Subsequently, central government has given three extensions and even after third extension, only 50% of states and union territories have implemented National Food Security Act. Please do not forget. Nikkei India Manufacturing Purchasing Managers Index. What is PMI? PMI is Purchasing Managers Index. If Purchasing Managers Index is more than 50, it indicates expansion of industry. If PMI is less than 50, it indicates contraction in industry. Now, the Nikkei Purchasing Managers Index is down to 51.2 in September from 52.3 in August. 
a 58 year old man was recently lynched in Pisada village in Dadri of Greater Noida nearer to Delhi because of the alleged rumors that he had slaughtered a cow and stored beef in his house and it created a lot of controversy and in view of this several distinguished persons returned their awards and lot of uh, debate is going on subsequent to this incident in the country former prime minister and veteran leader of unified communist party of nepal maoist baburam bhattarai resigned from the membership of the party not only from that he also resigned as the lawmaker over the new constitution in nepal he is not satisfied with the constitutional provisions please do not forget madhesi and tarus are not happy with the constitution in nepal mars reconnaissance orbiter of nasa shows that there are flowing streams of salty water on mars previously in 2008 it confirmed the existence of a frozen water previously it confirmed frozen water and now it confirmed streams of salty water on mars and this is giving rise to doubts about the possibility of life on the planet look into the next one at washington dc south asian film festival kadambari kadambari is a bengali film it has got two awards for best film and best actress for konkana sen sharma and quote the famous marathi film which was also nominated recently for oscar award in foreign films category here also its best director award was given to its director that is chaitanya tamhane 16th asian rowing championships were held in beijing and indians won five silver and two bronze medals look into the next one mark zuckerberg changed the profile picture with a tricolor shade and internet.org was rebranded as free basics certain websites will be available under internet.org please don't forget facebook partnered with the reliance communications while launching internet.org and two changes one is the profile picture was changed with the tricolor shade and internet.org was rebranded as free basics these two things please don't forget forward markets commission forward markets commission is the regulator of commodities markets commodity futures markets are regulated by forward markets commission commodities means they may be spices they may be agricultural producers they may be metals they may be precious metals in all these things future trading will take place and that market was previously regulated by forward markets commission and now fmc got merged with sebi from 28th september look into the next one the theme for world heart day world heart day was celebrated on september 29 and the theme is creating a heart healthy environment recently maldivian president abdullah amin was escaped unhurt in a mechanized boat tragedy right enquiry is going on taliban captured kunduz city in afghanistan kunduz is around 250 km north of uh, afghanistan's capital kabul and uh, taliban captured that city and now the Afghanistan government made some advances to recapture that city please don't forget Hardik Patel launched a new political party 22 year old Hardik Patel was recently in the news because of Patidar's agitation and now he launched a new political party that is Patel Nava Nirman Sena in New Delhi Bangalore hosted a two day conclave cyber 360 which discussed various issues related to cyber security and data breach ins kochi this is a second ship of guided missile destroyer it destroys the missiles there are several classes delhi class kolkata class like that 
So, this Kolkata class guided missile destroyer was launched at Mumbai by the Defence Minister Manohar Parikar recently. Please look into this picture. At the 6th Jagran Film Festival, actor Sashi Kapoor received the Lifetime Achievement Award. And for 17th Mumbai Film Festival, being organized by the Mumbai Academy of Moving Image, popularly known as MAMI, yeah, Rahman is composing signature tune. This is for the first time the film festival is having a signature tune. In Dhaka, an Italian aid worker was shot dead and ISIS claimed responsibility and a Japanese citizen was also shot dead in Bangladesh and the killing of these two foreigners gave rise to several doubts about the safety of foreigners in neighboring Bangladesh. In 8th Asian Air Gun Championship, these championships were held in New Delhi. India won 17 medals, 6 gold, 5 silver and 6 bronze, followed by Iran which took 2nd place. West Indies failed to qualify for the 2017 Champions Trophy. The winners of 1st World Cup, the winners of 2nd World Cup, in 1975 and 1979, after that uh, they won several awards and trophies and now they could not qualify in top 8 and Bangladesh occupied West Indies place. 17th Aditya Birla scholarships are given, every year they are being given, 45 students were named and these are given in engineering, management and law streams please remember. Director General of the Registrar of Newspapers for India, S. M. Khan submitted his report on the FTII issue recently. There is a lot of hesitation going on with regard to the appointment of Gajendra Chauhan as the head of FTII. FTII is situated in Pune. Meghalaya Governor Shanmuganathan was sworn in as the 17th Governor of Manipur and recently Manipur Governor passed away at Mumbai and now Shanmuganathan took over as the Manipur governor. Next one, and NATO began its most ambitious military exercises in over a decade across the Mediterranean Sea, the alliance's southern flank and I would like to tell you NATO was established in the year 1949. It is the military alliance of 28 countries, Turkey is one among them. South Africa started 72 day tour of India and will play 3 T20s, 5 one day internationals and 4 tests. Look into the next one, Google is all set to launch a street view service in this country and it gives a 360 degree panoramic view and this is already available in countries like United States of America, Japan and South Korea. Under the compliance window opened for disclosing undisclosed assets abroad. Recently, government uh, compliance window came to an end on September 30 and undisclosed assets held abroad were disclosed and the value is 4147 crores of rupees. This is not that significant. On the eve of International Day of Older Persons, 1st October was celebrated as International Day of Older Persons. The President of the country presented national awards for senior citizens in the iconic mother category to Leela Ben Chabildas Gurjar of Gujarat. She is more than 90 year old. Shashank Manohar from Nagpur took over as the BCCI President for second term. Please don't forget and he will be in that post till September 2017. Samia Mircha and Martina Hinges pair clinched the seventh title together by winning the Women's Tennis Association Wuhan Open Women's Doubles Finals and here Wuhan is in China. Indian Super League football tournament was kicked off in Chennai and this is the second Super League football tournament and at the opening ceremony stars like Amitabh Bachchan, Mukesh Ambani, Rajini Kant, Sachin Tendulkar were present. NASA's New Horizon spacecraft, all of you are well aware, New Horizon spacecraft of NASA is to explore Pluto and its moons and it sent highest resolution images of Pluto's largest moon, Karen. Then transporters are observing a strike, of course they called off recently and from October 1 they observed strike. Their main demand is scrapping of the present toll system. 
as part of its offshore wind energy policy government of india promised to bring national offshore wind energy authority which will be made single window clearance for all the clearances required Hrithik Roshan will be the brand ambassador for the world's largest lesson plan. This was started by Project Everyone, founded by famous filmmaker Richard Curtis. Please do not forget. A mobile museum on wheels on Mahatma Gandhi was inaugurated by the Gujarat Chief Minister Anandi Ben Patel at Porbandar and this is the initiative of Ministry of External Affairs for the third India Africa Forum Summit. Please do not forget. Third India Africa Forum Summit is going to be held in New Delhi during the later part of this month and this will reach Delhi Mobile Museum on Wheels in memory of Mahatma Gandhi. A major landslide in Guatemala, Guatemala where is it? It is a central American country probably below Mexico and here major landslide claimed more than 100 lives and Guatemala is the Central American country. Right friends, with this let us conclude the news at a glance. Please uh, listen to other modules if you want uh, things in more detail. Right? Have a nice day. Thank you.